Is energy medicine as effective as Western medicine on healing the physical body? We're going to talk about that in this series. And in this particular video, I'm going to cover clairvoyant energy healing techniques and how they work on the physical body. This is Krishanti with Krishanti.com and welcome back to my channel where the topics are always about intuition and spiritual and personal growth. And energy healing really is a part of the whole package. When you really start to deepen into your intuition to awaken it and to apply it to your life, when you see places that need healing, the healing starts to happen as a part of that whole process. So there are so many different healing techniques out there and energy healing feels like it's having a moment right now. And some modalities are more studied than others. I have a whole playlist on this channel about Bangston energy healing, which I love because Bill Bangston based this whole thing on research and there's so much documentation and evidence on what the healing does and how it works. And my whole world is, is clairvoyance, is intuition, it's going through practices that I can teach you to activate your own innate intuitive and psychic abilities, to gather information and to do healing. And here's the whole big thing about clairvoyance and the physical body. I think that if you're really ill and you need help and you want to do energy healing, if you have the time to explore clairvoyance for fun and to just experiment, or if you know somebody that has a track record of healing with clairvoyance, specifically that type of healing, by all means go that down that path. But if you are very ill and you really need like a sort of like a serious type of treatment that you know is going to be effective, I would lean more towards something like Bangston because it's more proven with the research that it actually works. That's one of the issues with energy healing as a whole for the physical body. We are in such a mess in some states um, with Western medicine that people turn to this alternative type sometimes as a way of like not being a part of that system that's very capitalistic and everything but the problem is when you really get into energy work that can be very expensive too and practitioners who are really good usually charge a couple of hundred dollars an hour even for clair clairvoyant healing for Bangston um, and it, that can add up if you need more than one treatment a week that can add up really fast so if you're looking to heal and you have a ton of money sure employ clairvoyance or if you have a lot of time and you're in learning it it's more for that but if you're seriously you you're crunched for money or you're sorry you're crunched for time and all of that and you just really need full-on healing Bangston would be what I would recommend um, and that above and beyond all the other things out there um, a part of the series, I'm going to talk about body code. I don't have enough like to tell you, and I don't know there's enough research there the way there is with Bangston that it really works and really works on certain things. But with that type of energy, there is, that's why I'd recommend more of that. Now let's talk about how clairvoyance works. Now, first and foremost, what I've got to tell you here, which is where my world really comes in is if it is a matter of deciding what type of energy is going to be good for you and what will help your body heal most effectively, the methods I teach can help you do that. And in fact, I just created the coolest meditation. It's decision making. It's a 30 minute process that activates your own intuition and your clairvoyance and then helps you to make a decision between choice A and choice B. And that that with that type of practice, you can tell if something's going to be good for you or not. I don't have a complete course on this, but I, if you're interested, let me know, drop me a line, put it in the comments. And, it, and if you have ways of figuring things out, I'd love to hear what, what you do. Put it in the comments below too. Um, 
you can use like the I Ching to really make a decision. That's what I do before I decide to go work with somebody or to spend a lot of money or, or do something. And I want to make sure it's going to be good for my body. Um, I always like just check, you check with your clairvoyance, your I Ching, tarot cards, um, muscle testing, pendulum, so many different types of divination to help you to know what path to go down. But all that said, let's get into clairvoyant healing and how that works. We all have these other senses, the clairs, you know, but when it's, when we talk about it from the term of like clairvoyance, it is primarily the visual, but a lot of people bring in a lot of different elements. So a lot of people will have the visual, they'll also just have a knowing, they'll feel things, you'll hear things. It, it's just all of these faculties start to run and you're, you realize that you're using a multitude of senses like ESP, extrasensory perception, just like you use your regular senses in regular life. So ostensibly, let's say you're, you're doing the clairvoyant method and you're working with another person. So you're here and they're here. You call forth their energy and you, you get a visual on it. You get a sense of it and you ask for like the, the kind of the pure light of their spirit. And then you ask, and oftentimes when you're in the field and um, you're really working on this, it'll just show itself up right at the beginning, what needs to be healed. And then through the process of, of moving, like you can, you can move it, like you can, with your visual, you can make something happen to what you're seeing. So let's say you see something that looks like stagnant energy. Well, then you bring in light visually, or you can even just know that you're doing it or sense and feel it and move that energy out. And you're looking at it, like if you're doing it the clairvoyant way, when you can, you're looking at it with your third eye. Um, I'm being hesitant about that because some people don't. Some people just feel and sense and know and hear. But if you're seeing it, you'll, you'll see the energy move and clear. And then the other person will likely feel of release and they'll feel better. Now, can this work on the physical body? I would say yes, and I have seen it happen. There is an aspect of clairvoyant healing that is where you channel energy and, and you, you have guides like plug into your hand chakras and you do kind of like psychic surgery and you pull things out. And I've done it myself and I've seen it happen on colds and flus. I've felt that it's like an extraction that as one of my students did on me where she was pulling an energy out and I felt tingles all up in my whole body like it was a, a neurological thing but that was a healing that was a that was what had started out as an energy that turned into something physical in my body and through clairvoyant work and through her process and a little technique that I made up that she followed she pulled it out so you can do that but what what you feel and what I see more often than not, at least in my world where clairvoyant healing really works is more on the emotional side. And people have told me time and time again that, and I'm not trying to brag here. It's, this is honest. And if you learn it, people will tell you the same thing that a session with me, 30 minutes to an hour, is like 20 years of therapy and that's not me um, that's the energy and that's the technique and the process of of helping that clearing take place and again it all boils down to you're working with the other person you sense something is off and you do whatever it takes to clear it with your extra all these extra senses and then it does clear what is really cool that brings a clairvoyant healing to a next level too, is that every healing you do on somebody is also a healing on yourself. And you'll find time and time again, as you start to do this work, that people will come to you uncannily so with exactly the same issues that you have. So then you have to work there and help clear and heal it for them, but then it clears and heals it 
within you. And I think that's just so cool and it, it really does work. So I would say from my experience with energy work and energy clearing, clairvoyance can work on the body. It does really, really well with emotional stuff and with patterns and like more of the deeper things. When you do that kind of clairvoyant healing, you get into the energy system, you get into the chakras, you get into past lives, you really get into the soul and you start to help heal and clear and, and all of that. Um, but it's not studied as extensively as something like Bankston, where it's like, okay, this research experiment proves that all these mice were cured of cancer, or this proves that it worked on COVID. It proves that it worked on breast cancer. We don't have a lot of that with the clairvoyance. What we have more is like the, the stories and the, um, the firsthand experiences. But you know, you guys, my whole world of this intuition and this, this whole thing, it started with the clairvoyance. And then through all of those healings, I was able to like the internally work on being able to make meditations like you'll see at krishanti.com because I was able to listen to the sound of my own voice and not cringe. I was able to make videos because of the healings, because of all these clairvoyant healings to, to clear this energy out. You know, I made a course called Reinvent Your Self Image that's not on my website like everything else is. There's like 33 products at krishanti.com, courses and meditations. This is on Daily Om, but it's all about using these techniques to create a new, a whole new you. And people love it because they feel good. You listen to the clairvoyant meditations, you follow, you do the practices, you experience a healing. And so that's the thing that I think is really awesome about the clairvoyant work that's a little different from other forms of energy work, which is that you can listen to a guided meditation, follow the techniques on your own, and experience your own profound healing. You can clear your own body. You can keep working on yourself that way. You can clear yourself of emotional things and you actually really do feel those and see that happen in real time. I want to give you some examples of how clairvoyance has worked on clients. Um, I think one of my favorite ways, you guys got to be totally honest with you is when people see how intuitive and psychic they really are. And when they get mind-blowing answers to questions right off the bat, they're describing people they've never met, they're moving energy, they're, they're, it's like so amazing to just see the capacity to know and to heal. Everybody's got it and like, it's, it's just the best, the best. But how I see it work with all of these people over the years is beautiful things can happen. Like people who are stuck in jobs that are crushing their souls after doing clairvoyant work. And what, like, so they'll go in the reading and they'll be like asking questions about the job, but what's happening in the background is a healing being like, you don't need these people treating you like this. The whole point is get out of this job. Like let's heal your self esteem so you can you can actualize what you're worthy of and then you see it happen and the same thing goes with relationships the healings that happen there the the healings that happen just across the board of like creating more lives that are more like in alignment with what we really want that happens time and time again um what you might notice if you're doing a clairvoyant healing on someone is and, and and you're healing it in yourself is you'll you'll feel this um you'll you i feel it in my body too like i'll be like someone's really stressed right away i'll feel it like in my solar plexus and as we work through we talk about the issues and then we we really do that clairvoyant healing like i'll see where is the stress in your body like your golden light, I'm seeing this murky green, grew like 
like sewer water green. That's how clairvoyance works, which is really fun because um, it's this crazy imagery. And then I'm going to just get that going, like just see it leaving and feel it. And then the person will start to feel better. Like they'll feel lighter. Then I'll feel in my solar plexus, lighter, lighter, lighter. And then that's the clearing, like it's gone. But um, back to the physical body, I haven't done enough of the clairvoyant work on the body to tell you without a doubt that it works the way I would be able to tell you like Bingston. Um, because it's just not, you just don't hear enough of like that certain type of healing and physical um, incredible things. Now I've heard like, like little things. I've seen, you can see disease in the body, but when it comes to actually like healing it, what, what I'd like to say to you guys is I can see how you could work it. And I'm, I'm visually, I'm remembering something once a person came to me and said, nothing you tell me can upset me. And I was like, well, I'm sorry, but I see there's black like all through his body. And he's like, I, this was last 15 years ago or something. He's like, yeah, I'm dying. I have cancer through my whole body. Now, clairvoyantly, I could have probably like cleared that. Who knows how long it would take. That's where you come back to like a decision-making meditation that I have at Krishanti.com or use your own, your tarot cards or your I Ching to see if it would work because with this is my own opinion and it's back to what i was saying at the beginning if you're really sick like that do you really want someone going i know this helps with emotional stuff but i haven't really <laughs> done it on the physical body like you don't want to waste time like that like if 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 it's something that you do and it's what you're always doing and you want to try it by all means but if you're really serious about try it and true tested and proven energy healing techniques for the body i think something that's more studied would be more effective clairvoyance more for fun and experimenting but um have you gone in and done that like clairvoyant energy healing or have you experienced it i'd love to hear what what your thoughts are on that um i think i would make a whole other video about the aspect of really cool psychic surgery and the the problem with that though is is a sort of like I'm wondering about the point because to, to find one of those it's sort of like word of mouth or or you hear of some great big healer but I think by the time you hear about somebody that's like this renowned international healer um, you want to just make sure you're you're I don't know, you don't want to get into a situation like what happened with John of God or like the, was it Bikram Yoga? You know, when they get to be these cult followings, it's like, I don't know. I almost would say, um, even with psychic surgery, it's like working with someone who's, I would say, more obscure, first of all. I'd go to the Philippines and, and work with the healers there. But, um, Remember the point that is really curious and wonderful is that people who just learn how to do this and just start out can be so powerful, like just absolute beginners. So we all have this ability. Um, I think it's time to start playing with it some more because it's, it's fun and you can do it. So if you want to learn more, check out krishanti.com. I've got it all, all the stuff there. And I'll um, try to start doing more live workshops too, if that's in alignment. So um, I think that sums it up for this video. Thanks so much for being here and I will see you next time.